okay so have you guys ever wondered like you know when you go to this uh, barbecue style of a restaurant right like barbecue nation or absolute barbecues and stuff like that sometimes you know you are too overwhelmed or over excited that you can't have a lot of food and sometimes you get this crazy thought of taking some food back home so that you can have it at a later time well i did get such ideas as well but uh, however you are not allowed to do so but there is a solution for that you cannot get the uh, rest of the food but at least you have an option to get that barbecue experience that barbecue food at home and barbecue nation is giving you something called as barbecue in a box so i have heard a lot of things about this barbecue in a box where you get this you don't get the entire spread or what's available in the barbecue nation but you have customized boxes where you have options such as uh, their starters that some of their main course some items included so if you actually go to zomato that's that is what we mostly use and if you actually go to barbecue nation and you know if you actually look in the delivery section there are a lot of options like barbecue in a box non veg veg and then we have this biryanis and kebabs box then you have non veg overload etc etc so today what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and order a barbecue in a box non veg And the price of this box is one one four nine, so that's one thousand one forty nine. So you might ask, like you know, if you can go directly to Barbecue Nation and have this food, it's much better, right? You get this experience. But again, hey, having barbecue food at home, that that experience is really worth it. And you know, especially when you're working from home or you're at home, you don't want to go anywhere outside. You're definitely gonna love this. So let's order this barbecue in a box, non veg. Let it arrive. Let's open the contents. Let's rip it apart, and then we'll see what we get in it. And is it really worth your money, worth this time, and is it really worth, you know, uh, having it at home? Without further ado, let's get the box home, or let's get it ordered. See what's inside. Okay, so the box finally arrived. The barbecue in a box. The box looks good. Uh, in fact, the packaging is really nice. I'm kind of impressed with how this packaging is. It's easy to carry as well, and uh, yeah, let's just open this box and see the contents inside because that is what we are paying this money for. And uh, let's see how it is wrapped. Okay, so soon as we open, okay, now that's interesting. I think these are the desserts on the top. Um, I'll just quickly show you what we have. Hmm. I think this is the moong dal ka halwa. So this is the moong dal halwa, and this is their dessert. Dessert number one. Dessert number two. This is a chocolate brownie. This is a brownie. Good. If you like brownie, yes, it's also included. And what is this? Ah, the angara gulab jamun. The small, small gulab jamun, which is really famous at these locations. Yummy. So we basically. Have like three desserts, and uh, this is a mint chutney, and uh, I think this is probably the garlic or the spicy mayonnaise. So this is also on the top. So let's take the first compartment out, and I don't know how they, I don't know what's actually inside. So basically, let's see how many boxes we have. So this is box number one, box number two, box number three, and then box number four. So these boxes are all. Red color, so I am assuming these are the non-veg related items because there are also some green boxes inside. So this is box number one, green, and then we have green box two, and then we have green box three. Okay. Aha. Hmm. These are the chicken wings. So I hope you can see it on the camera. So these are the chicken wings. So this is their. One of their non-veg style. After the chicken wings, we have this chicken tikka. Uh, so this is like a tikka kebab, and uh, this is these boneless chicken. And we also have an other chicken. So one is the kalmi kebab, and the other one is the reshmi kebab. So there are two chicken kebabs, and then one chicken wings. And here you go. Here we have prawns. So this is the prawn starter. So altogether about four uh, non-veg starters. This is all barbecue starters. And then now we have from the veg. What do we have? So in vegetarian we have the veg fingers. So this is the starter one vegetarian veg fingers. And we also have the veg kebabs. So you can see this. So altogether six starters. And the other green box is basically salad. So it's more like a green salad. So that's seven boxes in total. And 
Now let's see what do we have in main course. Now coming to the main course, uh, we have about like one, two, three, four, five boxes and roti is packed or basically wrapped. So this is roti and then uh, we have box number one. Mm, this is salon basically. So I hope you can see the salon. So it accompanies the biryani, talking about biryani. We have chicken biryani. Chicken biryani, so the quantity is like this big. Okay, good. And uh, this is their dal makhni. So, though it's a non veg box, you also have a, a two vegetarian starters and the dal makhni also with some roti. So, I think a vegetarian can also, if in case two people are sharing, but looking at this, I think hmm, probably one person will feel good. But two people can still share, that's not a problem. And then we have Martin Rogan Josh. This is the Martin Rogan Josh. Literally filled with oil on top. So mm, flavor is good. And this is the butter chicken masala. So we got butter chicken masala, Martin Rogan Josh, we got dal makhni, we have chicken biryani, we have like rotis or parathas, and then we have salin. We have like two dips you must have seen the mayonnaise and the green chutney. There are three desserts six starters and salad so i will show you the entire section probably you can see and uh, this total is worth about 11 40 then we'll, we'll have the taste we'll, we'll let's stop talking let's start eating now So now that we have seen all of the contents in the package, super excited to go and have something. I'm going to start off with having a chicken wing. Mm. Mm. So this is not your, your Chinese preparation of a chicken wing. So if you know the taste, it's an Indian preparation. So it's really nice. Mm. Let's have some kebab also. It's when we're tasting. Mm. Mm. It's good. The kebab is good. The wings are good. There are so many things to try from. Let's quickly try some of their main course. Um, so this is the butter chicken masala gravy. Mm. So nice. So good. A lot of butter on the top. It will go really good with some nice rotis. And this is their uh, Martin Rogan Josh gravy. So a little bit let's just try mm. it's nice finally let's have a quick spoon of this mm. so the biryani is also good so <coughs> the chicken gravy mutton everything is good actually the starters are also good let's also try the vegetarian one and I'm, I'm going to start off with this veg finger so mm. It's a little cold, but it's good. So this is a veg finger, and what else do we have? Yes, we have this veg kebabs. So let's try this also. And they are nice. Again, because they are kind of cold now, they they turn soft. Usually, I think they are a little crispy, but it's not the case. Now, okay, so basically this is paratha. So this is not the roti, so this is paratha. So what we'll do is we'll quickly take one nice bite and what what I'll I'll have it with dal makhni just to try it, see how the taste is. So dal makhni and paratha. Hmm. Definitely dal makhni is good. Uh, I think it lacks a little bit of salt, but that's fine. Uh, but yeah, overall, did we miss something? I think we missed to cover is this one. Yeah, jinga or prawn. Mm. 
really nice. The taste is really nice. Apart from the dal makhani having little less salt, I think best all is really good. So finally, it's time that we try the desserts. So I'm going to start off with this Angara gulab jam. Small gulab jam. As usual, it's good. I think it it needs a lot of uh, creativity to make such small uh, gulab jamuns, but yeah, but it's kind of famous there anyway. So this is their munda halwa. I'm not a big fan. Don't complain, but it's good. And finally, their brownie. Not the best brownie, but. Definitely not bad. So, yeah, I think uh, we have covered almost everything. We have had almost all the starters, the main course, and the dessert. So, again, as I told you before, eleven uh, forty nine for this box is totally worth. If only one person is going to have, uh, if you want to share it with someone, then I think probably this wouldn't be sufficient. But for one person, it's definitely worth. For people who want to try something different, something new at their home, don't want to go to a restaurant, wait, you know, uh, you know, wait until you get a chance to go and sit. And then just have this kind of food at home. Then this is definitely an option. Even you should check out. So I'm glad that I tried ordering this today, and because a lot of people have been telling us that you know it's really good, and yeah, I should accept. It's really definitely something that even you can check it out. So I think I'll pretty much wrap this video here. It's been nice talking to all of you guys. And if you have any suggestions about what kind of videos you want to see on this channel. Make sure to leave a comment below and don't forget to subscribe and also turn on the bell icon for notifications. So also follow on our social media apps on Instagram and other social media apps for which the links will be in the description. And if you have any questions, ping us directly here or on our social media apps. So this is Tarak. You have been watching Tarak Stories. You all have a great day. Bye bye now. Happy eating.